how do you call that a get get rich quick scheme or how do you call it get rich quick scheme praise god hallelujah glory to god hello Hello? The Google business listing has not been. Get rich. Get rich quick. Get rich quick. Get quick rich. Rich get quick. Quick get rich. Get rich quick. <clears throat> Ready? Praise the Lord, family. What a blessing to be together again this afternoon on our midday connection. God is taking us into deep waters. Bible says deep, call it unto deep. And I feel we're getting deep in this teaching as the Lord draws us into deep waters and showing us things. The enemy is throwing at us every now and then just to make sure that we get stuck in debt and remain in debt. But thank God for the word of God that is able to set us free and able to deliver us from every trap of the enemy. And child of God, listen, as the word of God comes in this season, one of its purpose is to set you free. Bible says, he who the son shall set free shall be free indeed. And your freedom is not just a spiritual freedom. God wants to set you free also financially. And so as his word comes this afternoon, I want you to know that it is the setting you free through the word this afternoon. So open up and let's enjoy at this table this afternoon. This afternoon, I want to bring you point number 14. And it's one of the reasons why all of us, you, me, the entire body of Christ, even unbelievers, they, we fall for this one that I'm bringing this afternoon. I call it get rich quick schemes. Get rich quick. Everybody's looking for ways of getting rich quickly. Getting rich quickly. And watch my lips. Getting rich quickly. Who doesn't want to get rich quickly? Who wants to go through the long route if there is a shorter route to making wealth? But we understand through the scriptures that money, wealth, riches gotten in haste will quickly disappear. And the Bible doesn't lie. Bible says anything you rush to get it, it will quickly disappear. It will disappear as quickly as you got it. And the Bible has a lot to say about get rich quick schemes. Listen, many years ago back in Africa, there, there were so many young people that couldn't wait to get rich. Some would use spiritual means to get wealth. Some would also use scamming. And I want to talk to the young folks today. If you're a youth, you're a young adult, and, and you, you feel pressured to have a car, pressured to have your own apartment, pressured to have some electronic gadgets, and because of that, you, you're engaging in all kinds of get-rich-quick schemes. Just be on the lookout. I remember back in the days, even believers were involved in it. And they will quote Philippians 4.19, My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. My God shall supply Philippians 4.19. It almost became synonymous for scamming in Africa. Philippians 4.19. So they were called 419. When you say 419, it simply means scamming. Praise God. And I don't want to mention names, but there are so many people around today that have gotten into trouble because of scamming. But this afternoon, God wants to set you free. Woman of God, man of God, because some of us, as mature as we are, some of this presentation looks so tempting, we fall for it. I remember the recent uh, package we had during the coronavirus, uh, the PPP loan and the uh, SBA loan. You know, there were people walking around. I got those offered personally. Somebody came up to me and said, all you need to do is to give me your data. I would apply for this loan 
And I will make sure you get $150,000. And once the loan comes, you can give me $10,000 from it. Listen to me, child of God. Who wouldn't want to get $150,000 doing nothing? It looks like it's a, a genuine, a genuine uh, 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 get-rich scheme, as it were. It wouldn't get you in trouble. But that is why you have the Spirit of God who must lead you in all things. I want to read some scriptures to you for you to understand that that is not the best of God for you. That is not what God intends for you. It is the reason why folks have ended up in prison. It is the reason why folks will end up spending all their monies and monies of their family members and monies they don't have just to pay legal counsel to get them out of trouble. So you thought that by engaging in a get-rich-quick scheme, you will quickly come out of debt only to realize that you've dug yourself deeper into hole because now you have been caught up with the law and now you have to go look for money you don't have to engage in legal battle to get yourself out of these challenges. But God wants to set you free because the enemy will bring these offers. And God wants to set you free. He doesn't want you to fall for it. Bible says, do not despise humble beginning. Anything that looks too good to be true, make sure the spirit of God is leading you. Get rich, quick scheme. The young fall for it. The elderly fall for it. The matured fall for it. Everybody is vulnerable when it comes to get rich, quick scheme. But God wants to set you free because it's one of the tools the enemy is going to use. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 28, verse 19 and 20. Bible says, a hard worker has plenty of food. But a person who chases fantasies ends up in poverty. You are chasing fantasies. The trustworthy will get a rich reward. Listen to this. He says that trustworthy will get a rich reward. But a person who wants quick riches will get into trouble. The person that is looking for a quick riches, quick riches, Bible says that person is going to end up in trouble. You're going to end up in trouble with the law. Because you're always sniffing around, smelling around. Where can I find something that I can make quick money? Bible says that you will end up in trouble. And that is not a desire of God for you. Glory to God. And I love Proverbs 13 verse 11. He says, wealth from get rich quick schemes. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. He says, wealth from get rich quick schemes. It's in the Bible. Proverbs 13, verse 1, New Living Translation. Wealth from get-rich-quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. Why are we in a rush to? Only to end up in a worse situation than we were. Bible says money gotten in haste will quickly disappear. And we also know Bible says a false balance. It's an abomination unto God. Listen, this afternoon, God wants you to uh, follow your passion financially, but based on the precepts of his word. A little here, a little there. Hard work with the strength of God and with the favor of God. Hard work. God honors hard work. God honors diligence. Stop looking around for Get rich quick schemes. It is not godly. It is not of God. We just read it in the book of Proverbs 13 verse 11. It is not of God. Don't fall for it. Some of them might be so appealing. Some of them might even be presented to you and it may look so legitimate. But don't fall for it. Let the spirit of God lead you. And before you fall for it, even if you, you will not even give a place for the Spirit of God, do your due diligence and thank God for Google. Go on Google, find out who is this company I'm being introduced to? What is this company about? Read the reviews people have about this company. Read the reviews about the service they pro provide. Read the reviews about the product you are being told they are engaging. Do your due diligence. Don't fall for the prayer of the enemy. Don't fall for it. 
Bible says people who seek after get rich quick scheme will end up in trouble. And that is not a desire of God for your life. It is the reason why a lot of people are in debt even right now because they went after something that promised to make them rich overnight. It is ungodly. It is unscriptural. Show me anywhere in the Bible where people in business, people financially did it overnight. That is not to take away from the power of God that is able to bring miracles. I'm not talking about miracles. I'm talking about self-made miracles. And sometimes we do this get-rich-quick scheme and we come to church and we testify and, and we, we, we make everybody believe that God has blessed me. Sometimes what you need to do is to check out the source of that blessing because you might be giving the honor, the glory, and the testimony to the wrong God because God was not the one that gave you that breakthrough. It might be your own doing. It might be the doing of the devil. It might be the devil himself that inspired it. So stop giving honor to God in places where God had no hand in it. Listen to me, child of God. I want you to pray with me this afternoon. And your prayer is very simple. Lord, let me become sensitive and be able to discern every trappings of the enemy because the enemy will trap you knowing very well the end of it. Bible says it's not the beginning that matters, the end of it. It looks all glorious. Now our young folks are into credit card scheming. They will use somebody's credit card. They, will, they, they have devices that they can even uh, uh, take the chip information on the credit card. They're able to retrieve it. I work in the restaurant industry. I remember one time somebody came with me with a credit card. I swiped the credit card for his bill. And every information that showed on the computer was totally different from the information on the credit card. Because that black strip, before they made a chip, that black strip that was on the person's credit card had been removed and pasted on another credit card that had this imposter's name on it. Because he had to match his ID card with a credit card. So the credit card had his name to match his ID, but the strip behind was not his strip. It was another person's strip. All kinds of craziness going on out there. People will call you, oh, I have a $5,000 check. Uh, do you mind depositing it in your bank account for me? And uh, you know what? Well, when you do it, just take 500 and wire 4500 for me. A stolen check, you are being used to access the cash. And guess what? Whoever took the 4500 you are happy with that 500 But when they come looking for who cashed the check, you are going to be arrested. Bible says the end of get rich quick scheme is trouble. Don't fall for it. Strange people calling you, giving you all kinds of ungodly promises. And because of the desperation of your debt, you are looking for a way out. The enemy also knowing how to present things that you will fall for, brings it right before you. And you are ready to fall for it. Today, you want to pray and say, Lord, deliver me from every trap of the enemy. Because some of us engage in it unknowingly. Lift your hands and say, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver us, your people, from every trap of the enemy. Deliver our children, the young ones, the youth, the young adults, those that are enticed, oh yes, by the things of this world and so falling for every form of get-rich-quick scheme. Lord, deliver us this afternoon. It is not our portion to end up in trouble. May somebody be delivered this afternoon. Somebody the enemy is targeting this afternoon. Lord, may you set us free. Lord, may you set us free. May that appetite and the desire to get rich quick be taken out of our heart and may we begin to embrace the principles of wealth, the principles embedded in your word, a little here, a little there, working hard with our hands so that the blessings of the Lord may be made manifest even in the work that we do. May that understanding come to us this afternoon as your people, even as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Listen, Bible says watch and pray. Even as you continue to pray, I want you to be on the lookout. Watch, don't just pray. Pray and watch, Bible says. Be on the lookout for the scheming of the enemy. His goal is to entice you and to make sure that you get hooked until you get in trouble. Be on the lookout. 
It is not your place. Sometimes you feel you are doing somebody you love a favor by cashing a check for them, by swiping a credit card on their behalf, by even receiving stuff at your address on their behalf. And so people are shipping stuff into your house. Sneakers are coming in. Watches are coming in. Perfumes are coming in. Electronic gadgets are coming in. And your friend says, oh, I'm not home, so I'm directing some shipping into your address. You are being used for a get-rich scheme. Don't allow yourself. Don't be a tool of the enemy. Don't wait until the FBI comes knocking on your door. It is not your portion. God is setting you free. It is not your place to engage in get rich quick scheme. Bible says that diligence is the way out. Hard work is the way out. And as you do so, I tell you, child of God, God will honor the work of your hands and your labor will be rewarded by the Lord. Listen, God bless you. Keep praying. Be on the lookout. For the Lord indeed is on your side. I love you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, which is going to be the concluding part of the genesis of death. Don't miss tomorrow. And right after that, I'm going to move into a new season of teaching. You're going to love the new season. I love you, child of God. God bless you. Grace and peace to you. Shalom.